We are here, we are here, we are here. On this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Disclaimer, I'm not a professional. Please watch these videos at your own risk. These videos are for entertainment purposes only. Thank you. Friends and family on Telegram. Families and friends will prosper. Let's pick up for business. Okay, guys, we are marking up EOG resources. Stocks. Take a look at what's going on in the market. We are on a monthly time frame. A lot has happened since 1990 to now. So let's identify what's going on in the market. See if we see anything. Do you see any entries? Okay. Monthly time frame, price action, currently right here. Market goes up in price. How far up? Of higher highs. Market comes down in price. We are at lower lows. And we have a midpoint right in the middle. Okay. We can see that market price action is near the midpoint. It also, uh, we had a double bottom. So we see a first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. So a retest is forming. We don't know how far the retest is going to come down. This could be it right here. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see some green candles on the way up. And then we'll be looking for the market to break. Resistance line. Once the market breaks, it doesn't matter how far the market comes up. We're looking for entry. What does it take to trade at the second point? Okay, so once you see this market start forming doji's, the market's turn around. You can take entry here. The next point will be once the market breaks, come back down. We look for another entry. Take it to the upside if it goes to the upside. Walk down the time frame, see if you see anything else. Okay, so market price, we do see the confirmation of uh, the double bottom. Price action is at higher highs. So let's read the market. So we have a first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg retest. Uh, market uh, shot up once, market shot up twice, market shot up a third time, cap. And this is what pushed the market back down. Now we have to see what's going on in the market near areas of higher highs. So it looks like we have about, I see a double top and a retest, another double top and a retest. So it'll be a, probably about a, maybe a, a few different uh, M's in that market, maybe three times. So you're going to see multiple pushes to the top multiple times in one, two, three, about four sets of retests. The market shot down once. Okay, now we see engulfing pattern. This could be the engulfing pattern that pushes market price back up to previous higher highs. Once we get that break of this area here, market comes back down for that retest. Let's walk down the time frame. A daily time frame. We have a single bottom retest. Market did push up once from areas of lower lows from near price action. So once the market was previously at higher highs, I did say we did see some type of multiple tops. So this is it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, about five, six pushes to the top. Or five pushes in the retest. One, two, three, four. It's about four or five pushes to the top. Retest market came down. We did get three pushes to the bottom. And then from there, we got a single bottom. Market retest multiple times. Market pushed up once. And so we still have a chance the market can still push up another two times for areas to match up with previous areas of high highs. So we are in that um, uptrend. Also, price is at a midpoint too, so be aware that the market can come back down because if you have higher highs, price action goes down, lower lows. Price action actually sitting on the, on the midpoint area. So this is the area we're looking for the market to uh, break and retest to afford to go further up. Okay, so market may drop down a little further here to create some momentum for the upside. We may be looking for some type of uh, Retest and the market goes up, and another retest, market goes further up. Set down the time frame, see what the four hour looking like. Okay, four hour time frame only retest, show a few areas of retest handles. Same way with the three, same way with the two. Now, the one is for starting to form, the one hour is starting to form like a W, or it could be a headed to a double or triple top, or maybe a double top and a retest. So so far, we have market pushed up once, came back down. Market pushed up twice, came back down. Market pushed up a third time, and it's just it's sitting right here at a midpoint. 
so that market can work its way up to the upside or downside. We're not 100 sure yet. We also had a midpoint, so that means we may put the market to break uh, to retest to go up further. If not, it will just do a spike up and come back down, which would be some type of triple top. Then I mean we will follow through with a retest. The market comes right back down, so we're not too sure which is going to form. It could be a W. Um, it could be also a M. First leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, M pattern. So that's going to be the retest. Market says, sells down overall, triple top. Okay, so it's in the midpoint right now, so don't see anything. The market pushed up from the hour to the 45. Market pushed up again for the 30 minutes. So it's showing uh, progressive um, inclines. 15 minutes is pushing up as well. Five minutes is pushing up. So... From everything from the one hour down, the market's all pushing up. Now we get to see the retest. So the retest is happening right here. So once the market finishes off with this retest, you can see the um, engulfing pattern or some type of pattern that happens and be able to take entry. So we don't know how far the market can push down. So one push, two push, three push, and it could be a triple top market to retest. It's going to be the retest right now. Market come back down to lows. So if you look at price action, uh, highest highs, almost at higher highs in this area here. Okay, uh, price action, lower lows, midpoint in the middle. Okay, so market is at the highs. So we're looking for a tool. For us to see this market incline, we have to wait for the market to break. Once it breaks, it come back down for entry. We look at entry and take it to the upside. Now, if it goes back down into the channel, then we just have to wait for momentum to pick up out of it. If not, it'll push back down to a low and come back to a high. If not, it'll just follow through. And last but not least, if it doesn't do that as well, it can just consolidate as it's doing now. So we have to finish waiting for the pattern to take entry. So two points of entry will be when the market uh, pushes down after this engulfing pattern to the bears. Look for entry somewhere here, take it back up. If we take it up, remember we're looking for the market to uh we were looking for it to break. So once the market breaks, don't look for entry yet. Wait for it to come back down. We look for entry here, and hopefully the market goes up to the upside into that uptrend that we clearly see that the market's in. Okay? Check out the three. Okay, the three, I see uh, maybe a triple top or a quadruple top. So it could be a retest. It looks like it's selling. It may just sell off to a certain point back to this midpoint. So price actions here, highest highs, lowest lows. Midpoint prices is, is, is banging out on that top end of higher highs once, twice, three times, four times. Have an issue breaking four pushes to the top. All we need is a retest, and the market is done. Five pushes to the top is the max the market does at higher highs before it comes back down. Okay, and it looks like it's about to be on a fifth uh, push up. So, unless that's the final one that's coming down from there. Uh, checking out the one. Okay, the one is showing the retest. Okay, so there's something going on in here. Maybe that's the final one because what I see is market pushed up once, market pushed up twice, market pushed up three times, uh, four, maybe fives. So, okay, that's five times. That's four. This is five. Five pushes to the top. Market's coming down. Retest, one, two. So it can fall one more time so we can get market can come back down to this low here and then create momentum to the midpoint to come right back up. So what the market's doing, spiking up to come right back down to the midpoint, to go right back out for the retest and breakout, and the market is gone. Okay, so we're still in that uptrend. Once the market breaks this lower low point and we start seeing the market breaks and return, and that's the chance the market will be headed down back to previous areas of lows. Very important information, guys. Uh, we just talked about that just a minute ago. Let's go to it first. Breakout and retest strategies, very important strategies, okay? We always discuss the uptrend. Today, let's just discuss the downtrend very shortly. So what's the downtrend of a breakout retest? Okay. Market price, highest highs, market lower lows. Market currently at a highs, working its way down to a low, so we are in a downtrend. Once so the market's headed down to that downtrend, and we can see once the market get to our support, we will not take entry at the support. We wait for the market to break the and the support. Once the market breaks, we wait for the market to return. The market returned multiple times. Once, twice, three times. 
Once the market returns back to these areas, you're looking for some type of engulfing pattern. The show is going to show that the market's going to push down. And after this push right here, after the market came back to retest, we got a huge engulfing red bear pattern showing that the market's going to sell. And that's exactly what the market did. Dropping right back to the low, pitch back up to the mid, drop back to the low. Okay, break on retest. Also, guys, very important information, please. Google Forex Pattern Cheat Sheet. Click on images, review your images. Very important information, guys. You have to understand where the market is at, what is it doing, and why is it doing it, what direction it's going to head into. Okay, very important information. So, for example, everything have a structure. Uh, price actions here. High highs are here. Lower lows are here. So, price action is in a second levels of lows. So, that means what's at the bottom must come up. What's up at the top must come down. Market was at a low, pushed up to a top, wasn't able to break, came back down. So when the market worked its way back down, all it did was work down the ladder chain of a downtrend. Okay, so while it was doing that, it still did spike up, spike ups to the top three times, showing that the market wasn't able to break, came down, created enough momentum to the second level midpoint, back at lows again, for it to create that momentum, push up areas of highs. Okay. Okay, guys, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Thank you for watching and thank you for your attention. EOG, stock.